have Earth Day 365 days a year, whereas America has Earth Day one day a year. And we want to leave our farm in better shape for the next generation so that they can enjoy it as well as we did. Representative Nome, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. Why did you decide to run for Congress? Well, I first got interested in running for Congress uh, because of our fiscal situation and recognizing the debt our country was accumulating, but then also realizing we needed people that would serve that had business experience, that had been at home living real lives, running businesses, making the tough decisions on what was needed to fix our country. That perspective was uh, lacking, I felt, in a lot of the regulations that had come out of this administration, and uh, I thought I could do my part. But at a personal sacrifice to you and your family and your farming operation. Yeah, it, it is. You know, it's a, it's a whole different uh, type of job that I go to now today. I spend a lot of my time uh, driving tractors and herding cattle and doing different things before. So this is a whole different environment, but it's extremely important. Uh, this, that perspective is needed out here on what it takes to grow the food in our country and what it takes to actually uh, keep our industry going. What did the constituents, uh, the voters of South Dakota, send you here to do? I think they sent me here to be tough and to make the tough decisions that were necessary to make sure that their kids have the same opportunities that we had when we were growing up. A lot of things are changing in this country and they realize that we're facing the most predictable financial crisis that this country's ever faced. Uh, so they sent me here to offer some perspective into regulations that were causing them to suffer uh, and not be profitable and to offer some perspective on what we need to do to balance our books. And how much progress do you think this house has made toward uh, the goals that you just talked about there yeah, a moment ago? Yeah. Well, we're doing the best that we can. A lot of the reforms that need to happen would be in the form of policy and legislation that you obviously need to get off the House floor and get through the Senate and the President would have to sign to be put into place. And that's the problem that we have. The House has done a lot of work they put in a lot of reforms, they've passed a budget, uh, and then we send it over to the Senate and it seems to get stalled or killed and not get done. So the one good thing that this House has done is it has been a check and balance. We've come in and we've made sure that a lot of uh, regulations, uh, we're having some oversight now. People were talking about them, we're having committee hearings, bringing them to light if they're detrimental to the agriculture industry. Uh, and that's a good thing. And then also we're making sure that we're blocking funding for things that aren't going to be in our country's best interest and making sure that we're being much more fiscally responsible when we can. You really made a, a lot of hay early on with yeah. uh, raising the uh, EPA yes. uh, threat of, of, of dust regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing has come of that yet, uh, yet you certainly elevated the issue. Um, why and what has been the feedback? Well, the, the regulations that the EPA was talking about putting into place would be devastating for the agriculture industry. Essentially, if somebody was out baling hay or driving up and down a gravel road, they could potentially be in violation of some of the regulations and standards they were talking about setting. Uh, it didn't make any sense. Uh, and that's just exactly the kind of situation that a lot of businesses are facing, not just in agriculture, on regulations that this EPA has been putting out. I talk to businesses every day and people every day and probably the one agency out here that's doing the most harm to our country is the EPA. Uh, it's the most anti-business, anti-farmer EPA that I believe our country's ever seen. And we need somebody to zero in on them and rein them in from the damage that they're doing to our economy. Is that their job to be pro-business, pro-farmer? You know, aren't, aren't they supposed to primarily look out for the environment? Well, their, their primary uh, job is to make sure that they are making sound decisions based on data and on science and on facts, and they haven't been doing that. Uh, they've certainly been pursuing a separate agenda of just putting uh, their priorities into place. And so that's what we're asking them to do, is to come back, look at things, uh, have a cost-benefit analysis that's done before you put a regulation out there. See if it's really necessary or needed, or if you have data or scientific evidence to show that it's necessary to truly improve the life uh, here in this country. The e this EPA hasn't been doing that. They've been trying to accomplish something else. And uh, it's my job and all of our other members' jobs out here to make sure that we're talking about things such as this dust regulation and then proposing bills to see if we can get them stopped. You recently joined the Agriculture Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you hope to accomplish there? Well, obviously, everybody's talking about the, the Farm Bill reauthorization. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a big topic of conversation, especially in light of the fact that 
almost every area of federal government is looking at cuts. Uh, this Ag Committee is a, a place where those cuts, if they have to come to agriculture, where that should be done. I see a lot of people attempting to legislate and try to touch agriculture that aren't on that committee or don't understand the dynamics of it. And we need to make sure that agriculture uh, certainly uh, will be uh, given a fair chance throughout this process and that that Ag Committee is the one that makes the decisions. So uh, I'm a firm supporter and always have spent my life as a farmer and a rancher. Uh, and we need experts that have uh, the knowledge in the industry to make those decisions. And finally, whenever you have some free time, what do you do to get away, Christy? Oh, well, I, I get home as soon as I possibly can. We live on our ranch by Castlewood, South Dakota, and my favorite thing is to get out in the pastures and spend time with the kids and, and the horses and, and get back on the farm and help my brothers. So, you know, that's what we do. It's a totally different lifestyle than here, and I love it uh, because I, when I work a day back at home, I could turn around and see what I've accomplished pretty easy. It's a little bit harder to do that out here, uh, but we know that the job is just as important. South Dakota at-large Congresswoman Christy Nome, Representative, thank you so much yes, for the time. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.